a very good morning. I'm English, I drink tea. I need tea, I'm addicted to tea. Oh yeah. Just finished breakfast, eggs with some honey on bread. And I decided I'm gonna make one of those horizontal videos because I've been doing a, a lot of vertical videos. And, and who cares? Anyway, it's funny because I'm looking at the car. I don't like that. That's better. Anyway, I noticed that because of all this intense meditation, now I've been practicing meditation since 2014, 20 minutes twice a day, most days. There might have been a period here and there, a week or two, a couple of days where you drop the ball. It's normal, but fairly consistently since 2014, that's six years, 20 minutes twice a day. Now I've moved to two hours a day, one hour in the morning, one hour in the evening. You have to master the hidden step in order to make that happen, right? comes with its own challenges it's fucking hardcore and after I don't know what is it a few days a week whatever not long of doing this but it feels like a long time because I've spent so much time so much time inside my own mind observing my own mind that I'm starting to feel changes uh, already very quickly much more organized, much more focused, less inclined to wallow in any kind of negativity. But just now, I found that a thought came up, a particularly alluring thought, you know, because sometimes you can enjoy being unhappy. Sometimes you start to feel sorry for yourself and you enjoy it in the way that you might enjoy, I don't know, black metal or something. There's a certain beauty in the misery and the those bleak landscapes that you wander into. Romantic, right? So there, there, there I am, feeling a little bit sorry for myself. Oh, this, that, and no. that. I've been through hard times. Life's always hard um, from a certain point of view, or at least it has been. And um, I guess I've got that working class kind of work ethic. If, you know, don't complain, pull your socks up, get on with shit, no one gives a fuck. Which is, it's been very useful over the years, actually. <laughs> and um, I'm not the sort of person that wants to wallow in that. I see myself as someone who is against all the odds, you know, Actually, that's wallowing, isn't it? I see myself as someone who is positively um, brave enough to find solutions. And I have a natural, naturally um, friendly disposition, even if it comes from a, a Saturnine base. There is a mercurial energy there. And, um, but anyway, this is what I found. The, the thought process was, was magnetic. It's like you think one negative thing, you get pulled into the next and then the next, and then you start enjoying it. And then all of a sudden, I'm super aware. It's like I'm watching myself. The way I was watching myself in meditation, I was outside of this process and I caught it because I know in the past when that, process would have begun I would have stayed there for a long time and I didn't want to stay there the fuck's that on my screen <laughs> hope that don't come up on the video <laughs> fuck's sake <laughs> yeah 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 so uh this is something wor worth bearing in mind the things that may hold you back the things that may get in the way it's strangely magnetic. It pulls you in and it builds. And the 
process of training and the evolution that takes place very quickly when you um, really push yourself uh, in terms of really stepping up the meditation. Um, I guess you're going to find yourself more in control if we use the analogy of the charioteer with the horses. Those horses, your emotions, your quick react reactions, your um, uh, instinctual drives and habits. You have a firmer grip on the reins. You're more you're more the charioteer and less the horses, yeah. Whatever.